احنا بنعيش على كوكب متميز جدا كوكب الارض فانتاستيك بلانت يت اتس فيري كومبلكس اند فراجايل اند سفرز فروم ميني بروبلمز كلايمت شينج سكيرسي اوف ووتر فامن هيلث بروبلمز لايك كانسر فيروسز اند سو سو فورث And that's why in 2015, the United Nations has designed and introduced 17 sustainable development goals, which are interconnected and serve as a blueprint for a sustainable uh, future. Uh, these uh, sustainable development goals have been adapted by the 193 countries which are members and ratified by all countries members of the United Nations. And this agenda is expected to be uh, completed by 2030 or targeted to be completed by uh, 2030. Next slide. Uh, because my background is in biomedical research, I got my doctoral degree in biomedical research and have over 30 years of uh, biomedical research, I decided to contribute to the Sustainable Development Goals and selected health as one of my primary targets to contribute to the Sustainable Development Goals. Next slide. Next slide. Okay. In order to do so, I have recruited a group of young researchers in order to achieve our goals and try to contribute as much as, as possible with innovative solutions to current health problems. And a major criteria of this team, they come from different backgrounds. Every one of them has different expertise, different mindset. Some of them are researchers, some of them are scientists, some of them, some of them are engineers. And we put this in a single team. Why? Because I was interested in developing prototypes, products to reach the market and touch the problem, to address the problem and have a real solution that we can address as a certain societal and global health issue. Next slide. So again, the mindset and the technical skills were my criteria for selection of my uh, team members. So we started by, number one, selecting, going to the society and select a pain that has to do with health and bring this pain to the lab, to the whiteboard. And then we start doing research and if we have found or we're able to develop an innovative solution, we try to compare it to the existing solutions in the market, we do benchmarking. And then, if we have an innovative solution that has not been developed before, we file for a patent. And then, we start up a company. And finally, we join uh, accelerators and incubators and approach venture capitalists in order to seek funding, as well as advice on development of appropriate business plan and steps to market. I will show you four different uh, solutions that have been developed in my research group. First one is for cancer. Of course, we are very familiar with cancer. As well, probably, uh, you may know someone with, with different cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and so on. Next slide. So there are drugs for cancer already approved by FDA and European Union, and they are available, and available in the market. So what are we doing? We have decided to use uh, synthetic drugs which have severe toxic effect of patients and combine these with natural products like for in this case we have Veganum Parmala, a plant that grows in Egypt and other North African countries and mix these together and include them in smart nano carriers to deliver them to the cancerous tissue. So this carrier with synthetic drug and natural product will go and target the cancerous cells but not the normal cells. So in this case, we have effective treatment of cancer without having the severe side effects. And we have tried this. We have developed several successful formula for treatment of breast cancer as well as ovarian cancer. The second, go back. Go back. No, no. Uh, 
the second step challenge is COVID-19. Of course, you know that uh, as of yesterday, COVID-19 has killed uh, around 6 million people and infected over 470 million people globally. All of us have suffered from COVID-19. This slide. So you probably have been wondering if you go to have a swap, a nasal swab or throat, what happened to this sample? Well, what happened to this sample here is that uh, okay. it goes into a certain solution of certain chemicals to extract the genome for the COVID-19, and then it's put in a different instrument in order for this genome to be amplified and detected. In my research group, we have developed two robotic systems. We call, we call the, the one on the left, Kibular, and the one on the right, uh, Chiwi. And these are the two only systems that have been developed by any Arab or African country. This is the first time that we can develop the system. This platform can be used for detection of viruses, for example, COVID-19, whatever type of C or HIV and so on, as well as markers of cancer. And this is for the first time in all these countries in the region. Next slide. Uh, this system has won, by the way, first place in the innovation, uh, Cairo Innovate exhibition. Next slide. Next slide. Another problem is hemorrhage. Bleeding is so dangerous. Each one of us has a between five to six liters of blood, and if you start to bleed, alhamdulillah, this would be a problem, and we can lose life. So it's very important to stop bleeding immediately. So this was another challenge that we have experimented upon in my research group, and we have developed a very nice small sponge that is very effective in immediately stopping the bleeding in a very short time, and can actually can absorb 50 or 65 its weight of blood. We compare this to other brands in the market, and you can see the one on the left really absorb blood very quickly and very large volume of blood, and really this system has been awarded uh, several awards from several regional incubators, Taqadda in Saudi Arabia, and work in Saudi Arabia, as well as uh, Next Society in Lebanon. And actually, we have uh, won several uh, major awards uh, to uh, recognize this innovation. Next slide. My final uh, health challenge is the, uh, uh, the unfortunate presence of uh, toxic metals or heavy metals in drinking water. We are not supposed to drink water with heavy metals or toxic metals. Why? Because once they enter the body, even at very small concentration, they accumulate. They don't go anywhere. They go there and set it. Go inside our bodies and wait there and then accumulate for as, as much as you drink water or exposed to water uh, uh, via bad things and so on and so forth. So, by accumulation, will result in extensive organ damage. Everything, you name it, kidney problem, even IQ problem, especially for the newborn, if a pregnant woman is exposed to heavy metal, and this will be a problem. So my research team, uh, just next slide please, have developed innovative solution to develop some sort of uh, paper steps and a device that we can insert in water and we can tell whether this water contains lead, uh, mercury or uh, cadmium or other heavy metals and we can actually tell the concentration because there are detection limits for these uh, particular uh, chemosensors that we call them chemosensors and actually this technology has been patented receive a patent from US technology patent office next slide please and we received also uh, an award during the France uh, Egypt uh, startup business competition and received the Cote d'Ivoire uh, uh, award from the uh, French Chamber of Commerce in Egypt. Next slide. Here are the heels. These are the actual heels. These are the researchers and scientists and engineers who have developed all of these innovations. All of them are Egyptian. All of them come from different universities, Fayoum University, Zazi University, Alexandria, Suez, Ain Shams, Cairo, Haywan, American Press in Cairo, GUC, uh, Future, some of them. Uh, and every one of them, they have the passion. They have the certain passion. Wissam, Wissam, Musa, and Saif have passion for, uh, they, they are the ones who develop the hemostatic sponges to uh, stop the bleeding. Shiri. Amani, uh, Asma, and Hadir, and Abdullah, these are interested in formulation of the new novel drug formulas that can be used to treat cancer. Uh, uh, Ali Magdi and uh, uh, Ahmed Wali participated in the development of the diagnostic system for detection of viruses. 
And then finally, Ahmed Shahad uh, stands to AP and Ahmed Radwan. Uh, these participated in the development of the chemo sensor for detection of Ibn Adam. All of them, each one of them, uh, has a unique mindset. Each one of them has unique passion. Each one of them worked very hard, very hard, not only to develop the technology, but to make sure it goes to the next level as a prototype and then finally to start a company. These team of students have established four startup companies as a spin-off from the American University in Cairo. So they have the talent, they have the dedication, and they have the passion to make this planet a better place, to harness technology in Egypt and the Middle East, and to develop startup companies and create jobs to support the economy. So they address pains in the society and also support the economy. And that's why I encourage them and applaud them everywhere. Next slide. I'm sure that each and every single one of you has a unique passion, unique, unique mind, mind, uh, mindset, and unique set of skills, and definitely can contribute to make this world a better place. And thanks very much.